Russia has chosen war. These are among the darkest hours for Europe since the end of World War II. President Putin, in the name of humanity, bring your troops back to Russia. There will be massive consequences going forward, a price that Russia will have to pay for a long, long time. We will continue to support them. Ukraine will prevail. you declare the war, it is the responsibility of this body to stop the war. So I call on every one of you to do everything possible to stop the war. President Putin, in the name of humanity, bring your troops back to Russia. In the name of humanity, do not allow to start in Europe what could be the worst war since the beginning of the century. Stop your troops from uh, an offensive to the Ukraine, give peace a chance because too many people have already died. said very clearly that if Russia continues to escalate, so will we. Uh, and so they have to factor then into what they're thinking. At the end of the day, if that doesn't stop President Putin, we've made very clear, along with all of our allies and partners, that there will be massive consequences going forward, a price that Russia will have to pay for a long, long time. of Russians do not want war. President Putin is trying to turn the clock back to the times of the Russian Empire. But in doing so, he is putting at risk the future of the Russian people. I call on Russia to immediately stop the violence and to withdraw its troops from Ukraine's territory. We will not let President Putin tear down the security architecture 
that has given Europe peace and stability over many decades. will respond in the strongest possible terms. President of the European Council, President Michel, has called for a meeting of the European Council this evening, and they will agree and provide political guidance to adopt the stronger package, the harshest package of sanctions we have ever implemented. invasion unprovoked on Ukraine and should be condemned for doing so, and Australia does. Together with the international community, we are banding together in strong terms to condemn these outrageous acts in the strongest possible terms. We denounce what are unilateral hostile actions in Ukraine. Russia is flagrantly breaching international law. And the, UN chose, and the UN Charter. Russia has chosen war. The situation is in danger of spiraling into a major crisis. We express our deep concern over the developments which, if not handled carefully, may well undermine the peace and security of the region. We call for immediate de-escalation and for refraining from any further action that could contribute to a worsening of the situation. We call on all parties to exert greater efforts to bridge divergent interests.
국제사회의 거듭된 경고에도 불구하고 러시아가 어떠한 형태로든 전면전을 감행할 경우 우리 정부로서도 대러 수출 통제 등 제재에 동참할 수밖에 없음을 다시 한번 분명히 밝혀드리는 바입니다. 이상입니다.